Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Last episode, we made some really bad decisions, and the run did not go well as a result. Uh, let's do... let's do an Apollyon run. We haven't, uh, beaten Mom's heart as Apollyon yet, so worth a shot. We start with Curse of the Lost, get a Spirit Heart right off the bat. We start with Void, which is a pretty good item. Apollyon's stats are... okay. Um... Acceptable damage. Oh, really? Of all the things. One makes you larger. Not my favorite pill in the world. Doesn't actually increase the size of your hitbox. It just makes it appear like it does. I learned that the other day. Anyway, I think we're okay. Uh, and we do start with the void. The void is an interesting item. It will basically suck up other items. If it sucks up a passive item, it will give you a random stat boost. If it sucks up a active item, hematemesis. Okay, hey, couple hearts on the floor. Could be useful. Uh, can't really do much there, not without a bomb. And probably not worth it anyway, unless I get a couple of bombs. Anyway, as I was saying, suck up active items, it will add their effect to the void. So you can basically turn the void into like the ultimate active item, or you can use it to get passive uh, you know, turn lousy passive items into stat boosts. So, uh, very good item overall. It is, I believe, a deal with the devil item. I, I believe it's in the deal with the devil pool. It may also be in the regular item pool as well. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I'm feeling this way. Yep, there's our item room. That was well worth it. Certainly don't want to leave the first floor without uh, hitting up your item room. Hopefully we'll get something good in there. If not, we'll void it and, you know, hope for something, uh, some sort of, oh, so bad. Hope for some stat boosts or something. There we go. What do we got? We have the Book of Shadows, which is temporary invincibility. We'll void that for sure. I want to stick with void for Apollyon, at least for the most part. Um, there's really no reason not to to be entirely honest, once you have it, because you can just basically um, turn it into, like, the ultimate item. Uh, you know, it can be the best active item in the game if you get the right combination of active items, and if you don't, well, it can still be very useful for turning uh, poor passive items into something actually useful. I'm going to grab this battery, and then we'll head and fight our boss. Uh, but I want to make sure I go in there with a full charge. That way, if we do come across an item that we want to avoid, we can do so. Uh, so I believe it was down this way. Actually, we sh Well, yeah, let's just go. I was thinking of possibly exploring that other room, but we already found our item room. We don't have enough money to get into the shop and get anything useful there. Gurglings on the first floor. I hate... I hate gurglings. They're annoyingly challenging, uh, especially when you can't fly, because the creep... The creep is very difficult to avoid. I want to focus on getting rid of the one first if I can. Ah, come on. Oh, we might actually die on the first floor right here. Oh, that's creep. Almost walked into it. Come on. Ah, that's the end. Try again. That's how a lot of our runs have been going. I don't know what it is. I'm partly I'm not playing badly. I also feel like we haven't had like a really good run. Um, now, to be fair... The, the, was it a Judas run? Or Kane? I think it was Kane that we played uh, the other day, and it went well. Like, we could have been, we could have become guppy, and we just made some bad decisions on that run. Or I should say, I made bad decisions on that run. You guys had nothing to do with it. Um, so that run could have been a lot better. I also didn't play very well as far as taking damage that I shouldn't have, but we haven't really had, like, a... A very overpowered run in quite some time. Um, at least not one where it was very clear that we were going to win pretty much no matter what. We also had that Azazel run not too long ago where we did become Guppy and we got Tammy's head and we're pretty much unstoppable. But that entire run, we had very low HP for the most part. So that one still could have uh, kind of gone south very easily. So I, I don't know if I'd consider... I mean, in a way, that was a very overpowered run, but at the same time, it was kind of one of those runs where, like, it could have gone either way, you know? We were able to pull out a victory, luckily, but it was close. 
It could have it could have gone very badly very quickly. And I'm kind of amazed that I did not take damage there, but I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. All right. There's our item room. Uh, okay, so we got basically just a bunch of these guys. Let's just kind of get rid of them as best we can. A, a number of them are exploding and making our job a little easier, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Yep, explode into flies. Flies are easy to kill. All right, now we need to basically make sure that we don't get hit by the champion enemies. Ooh, that was close. We made it out in one piece, though. And we do have a couple battery charges lying around, so... Um, depending on what this is, prayer card, actually, very good. We're going to take it. Or we're going to void it, specifically. That gives us an eternal heart every time we use it. Which means, if I take this battery and do that, that gives us a free eternal heart, which gives us a full heart container. And then we can do it one more time and get another eternal heart. And then we'll head in here. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have uh, saved... Uh, in fact, I probably should have saved that battery charge, but... Oh well. Too late now. Um, second secret room. Not the second secret room. Okay, let's fight the boss. And it's the haunt. One of my least favorite first floor bosses. I tend to get hit by the little haunts. Uh, far more, yep, there we go, far more than I get hit by the main haunt himself, but one of the harder first floor bosses for sure. Just a lot of, a lot of potential to, to get hit, because the, the enemies move very unpredictably, and to fight the actual haunt, you basically have to put yourself in harm's way. Like, no matter where you attack him from, He's going to do attacks where you basically have to be in his attack range. And you can't fight him from the side because then he, like, charges at you. So, kind of an annoying boss for sure. A little sad that we, uh, we definitely had a little bit of a misplay there using our void so early. We should have saved that battery charge for this fight. Because I would have had another Eternal Heart going into the next floor, but... It's alright. We'll be fine. We'll have plenty of HP with the prayer card there, so... Um, I'm not overly concerned about it. And we got the box which gives us a bunch of stuff. Bombs are key, Bombs okay. Are key. Got another bomb, we got the Empress card, and we got a half heart. I'm gonna leave uh, Purple Heart because I don't think it's going, I think it's gonna cause us more harm than good on this run. Okay, Cellar 2, three minutes, 39 seconds. We're, uh, we're going relatively slow, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and, and get something super overpowered on this floor and be able to make boss rush, but I'm not... Uh, it's low on my priority list. Okay, uh, we'll leave that battery charge there. Uh, you need to stay far, far away from me, guy. Yep. Explode somewhere else. There we go. That was close, but we made it out in one piece. And we have... Eh, not the greatest item in the world. We'll suck it up anyway. It has a little bit of utility for breaking rocks, but um, nothing to write home about, that's for sure. Clear out these little guys. There we go. That gives us another item charge. Ooh, now that, on the other hand, is actually worth our time. That is Scorpio. That will give me poison tears. Which is moderately useful. That is essentially a damage upgrade. So I will take it. Okay, so we got this. Let's head back. And let's void... That item. And basically it just allows us to break rocks. That's really all it does. Which is better than nothing, you know? I mean, it's still a, a useful find. We could use it in that room to get a key if we wanted. Let's get rid of some of these guys over here. There we go. And we got the Ace of Clubs. I'll stick with the Emperor's card. Okay. So let's head back. I think we grab the battery charge and we just head down to the next floor. Uh, well, grab the battery charge, fight the boss, and head down to the next floor. Hopefully we won't get hit. Um, also, this feels like a secret room. That is totally a secret room. And... Hmm... 
Do we blow them both up? Yes, we do. Because I want a, a chance for an arcade to spawn. That gave us no money. We did get a speed up out of it, though. So you know what? I'm not going to complain. That's an upgrade. It's something. One bomb for a speed up. I think that's worth it. Okay. Off we go. We will use our Empress card against this boss. It's Little Horn. So hopefully we'll be able to avoid taking any damage here. Get a deal with the devil. We're also relatively fast, it seems like. Stay away from the troll bombs. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. There we go. And he's dead. Um, let's head into our deal with the devil first. And there are no actual deal with the devil items here. Okay. So you got to do, you got to pick up Guppy's head, right? And then power you pill. use power pill. You put, uh, well, you use Guppy's head once. You take the other pill. And then I'm going to leave Guppy's head behind and void the caffeine pill. Which gave us a stat upgrade? I thought. Why Why can I not shoot right now? Oh, now I can shoot. That was very strange. I have no idea what happened there. Um, and then I think we just head down to the next floor. But we're becoming slowly more powerful. I think it. I think that maybe gave us a tears upgrade. I'm not sure. I didn't. Norm. The status effect didn't like pop up. But I think maybe it gave us like a tears and a range upgrade or something. It also gave us a health up from the Eternal Heart, but that's, uh, that was from the prayer card effect. There we go. Get out of the way. Let's clear out the little envies. And there we go. That's taken care of. Moving on couple other annoying enemies. We definitely are in need of a damage upgrade, for sure, in the near future. We're still rocking base damage right now. Poison tears help, but uh, they're not going to be enough to really kind of keep us going here long term. I was hoping for something good in that deal with the devil, and we didn't really... I mean, we got Guppy's head, so, you know, we're a third of the way to our Guppy transformation, but... Nothing that really helps long term. It was basically just a bunch of red chests. So, eh. I mean, I won't complain. That was very close. He almost made it to me. There we go. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that void definitely gave us a tears up. It seems like I'm firing considerably faster than I was. That creep is unavoidable. There is no way for me to avoid taking damage there. Uh, we'll leave the battery. I also have no idea what my HP is right now, which is a little concerning. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, that was close. Almost got hit. Get out of the way. There we go. And then poison this guy. He's going to come charging at me. And... Oh, there's one left. Probably one little poop floating around up here somewhere. Yep, that's what I thought. There you go. You're dead. Ooh, petrified poop. Okay, not an amazing trinket, um, unless you get it on, like, the very first floor. But better than nothing, it is useful. X-ray glasses. You know what? We're going to take them. This will allow us to find secret rooms without using bombs. So we're going to take them. It's a, it's a acceptable kind of utility item. Not a great one, but it is moderately useful. Now, the question is, well, and that means we have it. We're almost certainly not making boss rush on this run. I mean, maybe. We're almost on schedule, actually. But still, I want to I wanna see if we can find our secret rooms and all that kind of good stuff. That was bad. That was also bad. That was so bad. Stop getting hit. And really, we should be using our, uh, our void as much as we can right now, because we do have that prayer card effect. So I think what we'll do... Oh, come on. I think what we do is we come over here. 
I'll take the heart. Because I need it. And we... Uh, actually, with petrified poop, we should be shooting all the poop that we find as well. But we use the void. We pick this up. We use the void again. We have one more battery charge that we save. Hopefully we get enough... Uh, let's see. Am I at full health? I am not at full health yet. Okay. So we get one more battery charge. And of course we would be fighting gurglings here. Why Why would we not be fighting gurglings? There we go. We're gonna get revenge for last run when you guys ended me. There we go. Cursed room over there. Not super interested in going to that. But, we try to charge up our void so we can get another eternal heart. And then a charge to go into the boss. And that way, even if I take damage against the boss, I'm, I'm also super surprised we haven't found any of our secret rooms yet. Like, this floor must go on much longer than I thought. There we go. Two charges for that. There's one of our secret rooms, finally. There we go. Nice and easy. Grab the bomb. What's in our secret room? We got money. Okay. And free access to our shop. And seven cent BFFs. You know what? I think that's worth it. We don't have any familiars now. But for seven cents... And if we get, uh, I mean, if we get any familiars over the course of the rest of the run, like, that will make itself worthwhile just by having it. So, that's, uh, that's an investment in our future on this run, because familiars are not super uncommon. I mean, we might even get one from fighting the boss. Who knows? We could find one to deal with the devil room. Get, like, Incubus or Succubus or something. There's a lot of potential. So, I think what we do here... We know that we're going to have a battery charge. We know that we're going to fight our boss. And we'll have a full void charge at the end of fighting our boss. So I think we go fight the boss. We take the deal with the devil if we get one. We only have a 9% chance of that happening. So I'm not super optimistic. But we void the item against the boss if we need to. Depending on what it is. And it's the stain as our boss. Uh, with the annoying kind of bullet hell attacks. Stay away, stay back, yep, keep them at a distance. They're not too hard to dodge when you're far away, but when you're up close, that is certainly not the case. Ah, I, I did manage to get hit. Come on, pop up. There we go. Yeah. Oh, man, that attack is super, super annoying. Especially with the ones that fly, like, ridiculously fast. Yeah, do that one. Do that attack that I can easily dodge. Please. There we go. We got him. And Pageant Boy. Uh, we avoid that for sure. That actually gave us a damage upgrade, which is awesome. And then we take this. And we have, we're sitting on an Eternal Heart. So we just go down to the next floor. We save our charge. Right? Yes, there we go. So our HP situation is not actually too bad. It's not bad at all. And we, we've got a decent fire rate. Not super, super good, but better than start. Our damage, we got a little bit of a damage upgrade. Our health is looking very good overall. Considering those are all red hearts. If we can get some spirit hearts going, that would be great. We also got the whole eternal heart thing. I, speaking of which, let's, uh, let's be using our prayer card. Oh, that's right. That's why I can't fire after I use it, because it gives us the the notched axe, uh, or notched pickaxe, or whatever it's called. It gives us that effect. So until I hit spacebar again to cancel it, I can't actually shoot. I could have broken all of these rocks, though, which probably would have been the smart thing to do. Didn't even think about it. Took me a minute to realize what was, like, even going on there, but... Uh, this room should get us back to full health. Yep. We did, unfortunately, take a little bit of damage there, which is not uh, ideal, but these things do happen. That means we are missing out on some deals with the devil, though, for sure, which is kind of unfortunate, but 
Uh, and we lost our Eternal Heart as well from taking that damage against that spider, which we probably shouldn't have taken, but we got kind of trapped in a web. Slowed us down pretty considerably. There we go. Yep, get rid of you. So what do we want at this point? I think Spirit Hearts or a way to generate Spirit Hearts would be excellent. Um, more damage, 4.5 damage is not amazing. It's something, at least, but it's not great. Uh, it would be excellent if we could get a little bit more damage going. Come on, pop up. Come on, guy. Like, seriously. There we go. And avoid the boring. Uh, avoid him. Yep, there we go. And we get a justice card, which we might as well use. That gives us some cash. Uh, you gotta check the arcade. The arcade does have a blood bank which we play to get up to at least 15 cents. A little bit more money. Yup. And it gives us IV bag, which is not an item that I want to, uh, to roll with right now. But we did get enough money to buy something useful in the shop, so I'll call that useful. I'll call that a win. That was worth our time and our hearts. Get rid of you. And our item room has Mom's Finger, I believe is what that item is called. It's basically like a like a it's kind of an orbital. It points at enemies and does damage. I'm gonna go with it, because it is ultimately a damage upgrade, and we did get BFFs earlier. So it should deal some acceptable damage for us. There we go. And our shop has Magic Fingers, which I'm not overly interested in. Yeah, not really interested in anything in the shop. And we do have petrified poops, so we should be breaking the poops. It's a good habit to get into. Okay. Heading up this way. I don't know if uh, BFF caused the finger causes the finger to deal more damage. I would assume it does. But I'm not entirely sure. Essentially, whatever it's pointing at is going to take damage over time. Go... Die. Thank you. Grab the keys. And up here, a bunch of these little silkworm guys who are going to hit me. Oh, and we actually do have a full void charge right now. Although I feel like we're probably coming to our boss here pretty quick. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on using the void. Because if nothing else, we can use it after our boss and get an eternal heart that way. Get an HP upgrade going into the next floor. Might as well just kind of chill. Because I, our boss room has to be coming up very, very soon. And here we have another blood bank. Okay. I'm going to leave it be. I'm just going to leave it be for the moment. Ah! Still managed to get hit. There we go. Alright, let's head in. And it's Gertie. Oh, that was so bad. Come on. Still. Please, self, stop getting hit against Gertie. Gertie's not that hard. You just need to not be an idiot. Get into a rhythm. And there we go. We should be good now. Still not proud of the damage that I've taken in this fight, for sure. And our heart situation is okay. It'll be a little better after this floor. We've unlocked the catacombs. Hmm. Two keys and a luck up. Void. And that gave us another damage upgrade, which is totally worth it. I don't suppose any of these were like crawl spaces, right? No, I didn't think so. All right, down to the next floor. So we've gotten two damage upgrades from voiding those items. That's very good for us. And we've unlocked Magdalene? What? Oh, because it's for having multiple hearts. Okay, gotcha. I was like, I, I was thinking Samson for not taking damage over two floors. I'm like, we definitely took damage there. But no, it's for having uh, seven hearts or more on a single run unlocks Maggie for you. So we'll have some Maggie runs coming up here pretty soon. That's good. Okay, bombs. 
Uh, let's go straight in here. Polyphemus. Very annoying. Mostly because he can just pop up out of nowhere and teleport. Easier on a big room, though, than on a small one. Come on. There we go. And he's dead. He dead. We're good. Let's go this way. There's our item room. And our item room contains... Oh, speaking of which, we do have petrified poop. We should be making use of it. Uh, which also means... Oh, yeah, there's like a dime in there. Uh, I was gonna say, why can I not unlock the thing? There we go. That was well worth it. And we get the D5, I believe this is? D10. Rerolls enemies. Uh, I'm sticking with the void. And I don't really want to add that to the void. I think I just want to keep it the way it is. There we go. And more money in the chest. Not a lot, but a little bit. Hmm. And here we have pay to play. Which, if I remember correctly, adds a reroll machine either to all shops or to all item rooms. I forget. Let's get our donation machine up to 100. That should unlock something for us. There we go. Store upgrade level 2. So that'll mean that uh, four items now appear in stores instead of just two. And I think we just leave it. I, I'm not... I don't think it's worth it, considering we only have one more shop. And it may be item rooms where it adds the reroll machine, but once again, we only have one more item room after this as well, so... I don't think it's worth our time. Come on, ghost. Pop up. There you are. He's dead. And a bunch of these guys don't want to stand right there. Or right there. Or anywhere where these guys can hit us. There we go. Thank you for the heart. Emperor card. Pretty good. Teleports us directly to the boss of the floor. But I think we'll stick with our strength card. Because that's probably a bit more useful overall. Don't see any tinted rocks. Just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a check. Please, please get dead. There we go. I want to stay kind of back here because they have a very hard time kind of navigating their way in. There we go. And we got another nickel. So we got tons of money, which is actually very good for us. Um, I also have... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to skip that golden chest. I don't think it's worth the cost overall. And considering I haven't taken red heart damage yet either... Ooh, that was close. Speed up. Yep. I don't think I want to go into my cursed room. Because if I'd love to get a deal with the devil if we can. Like, that would be great. I, I don't have anything to guard my red hearts, though. So if I get hit, then, you know, we're kind of in a tough position. But there we go. Finish you off. He is taking some damage. Come on. Chubb shouldn't be that hard to deal with. So, ooh, that was close. Free heart. Almost dead. Almost finished. There we go. And we got a key. Eh, it's all right. Fistulas. Uh, what we don't want to do is stand right there. Okay, well... Looks like we're not going to get, like, any deals with the devil on this entire run. So, at this point, might as well check the cursed room. And if you look very closely, you can actually see, even when they go invisible, you can see the, uh, the poison effect on them. So you can kind of get an idea of where they're at. Hmm. Oh, that's, a uh, that's full HP right there. We'll take it. Uh, I would have liked to have saved it for after this room, but whatever. It's okay. Still very useful for us. I'm not going to complain about full HP. And these spikes do keep going up and down, so note to self. Be careful. Don't get hit by that. Finish that one off. And that one. There we go. 
And there's our second secret room and our boss. So... I think, for the most part, we're in relatively good shape on this run. Uh, what are you? You are troll bombs. Not the most useful in the world. But I think we're in pretty good shape overall. Monstro 2 is annoying. Very annoying, in fact. Get out of the way, because he's probably firing brimstone laser. Nope. Uh, don't get hit by that. We still have a 30% chance of getting our deal with the devil if we make it through this fight without getting hit. Yep, brimstone. And we are doing, like, acceptable damage. Oh, I didn't... Ah, oh, man. There goes our deal with the devil chance. That's all right. I probably should have used my strength card on this fight, to be honest. But, too late now. And I think if he shoots his brimstone laser, it will damage the flies that he summoned. I think. Ooh, dodge right into that. There we go. And that should do it. Oh, one more hit. There we go. He's dead. And we got the dog bone. I don't think I need the HP at this point. So we're going to use it for a stat upgrade. Gave us one luck, which is kind of whatever. But also gave us a little bit more range, which is even more so, you know, whatever. Who cares? Either way, we'll have an HP up going into the next floor thanks to that eternal heart. So maybe we can make it work. And this will be the depths too, so we'll fight Mom's foot at the end of this floor. What do we got over here? There's our secret room right off the bat. Nice. Not bad. Get rid of these little guys. And... You? Wait, does the... Does the finger deal poison damage even if the tears don't hit him? Because that would be actually a really cool synergy. Ooh. Compost. That's uh, kind of useful. Like, moderately so. I wouldn't say it's, like, amazingly useful or anything. But it's kind of a cool item. Basically, it gives you a couple of flies and spiders. But then it also doubles the flies and spiders that you have. So if you can get a bunch of battery charges, you can stack up like crazy amounts of flies and spiders, which is, you know, arguably very useful. Let's blow these up since they're right next to each other. Might as well. We'll take the hearts. We'll leave that other heart on the ground. And let's go look for our item room in our shop. We're not on any sort of a schedule. We've already missed boss rush. We're not going to make uh, any, I mean, we're, we're not on any sort of a time requirement. Um, we also have not. Uh, we've already taken red heart damage on this floor as well, so might as well check our cursed room. And I am not at all interested in that, but I am interested in voiding it for a stat upgrade. So we'll probably end up going back into our cursed room again and taking more damage to do so, but it will probably be worth it. Because that is an item that is worth voiding for sure. Come on. The left hand has appeared in the basement. Uh, what that will do is basically turn all chests into red chests. And I'm kind of more interested in golden chests at this point. What do we got up here? Another little thing. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I want to test a theory. Oh, he's poisoned anyway. Never mind. Not going to be able to test the theory. Ooh, let's not run to the spikes. Almost did. That would have been unfortunate. Okay. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to void this. That gave us another luck up and a little bit of a speed upgrade. It caused us to lose the eternal heart right away. But luck up is acceptable, I guess. Uh, we do have HP hanging out back here that we can grab. Might as well. And then I guess we'll go... Oh, I want to avoid that as well. There's so many things on this level that I want to avoid. Some battery charges would be great. Or maybe if we can buy a battery in the shop. This is not a good place to stand. 
I should have started moving like instantly, but I didn't think I didn't think fast enough. Sometimes in this game you got to think fast, and I did not. So let's go for this. This could uh, potentially drop like a really useful trinket for us or something. And we've got a ton of money. And this is the last floor where there's a shop. So we're not really going to have an opportunity to to get more money. Uh, or to make use of more money. So we'll just keep playing this, basically. And we've got some luck upgrades as well, so... Hopefully we'll get something good out of here. I would love to get like a cancer trinket or something. Empress. I think the strength card's a little bit better. Keep going. Come on. Pay out with something useful. I'm going to go down to like, uh, maybe 45 or maybe 40. We'll go to 40. Uh, and you gave me Arawak. Okay. What else we got? Come on. No trinkets, though, unfortunately. It, normally it pays out with a trinket at least once, but... Ace of Clubs. Okay, so... We take our Strength card. We drop our Strength card. We play this a couple more times to see if we can get anything else useful on the ground. We realize we can't. So we use the Ace of Clubs, we turn it into some bombs, and we use the bomb to blow this up. And now we get a trinket. <laughs> Not a great trinket, but a trinket. I think I'll stick with Petrified Poop. Uh, petrified Poop. The Dim Bulb basically gives you a very significant stat upgrade when your item is completely on- when your active item is completely uncharged. Uh, Sad Bombs? Yeah, for sure. I will gladly take sad bombs. Great item. Let's get rid of these little leaper guys first if we can. Now, I'm curious. Yeah, so the finger actually poisons enemies whether or not they're hit by the tears. So that's much better than I thought. Tinted rock right there, by the way. Thank you. Much appreciated. Our health is looking much better than it was. Our shop is right there, so we'll check this out. This run is starting to kind of come together. Still could do with some damage, though. That would be very good. What do we got in here? PhD. PhD is definitely worth buying. It's going to turn all bad pills into good pills. Um, and then there's the battery charge as well. So maybe we'll be able to kind of make use of this. Because there was that uh, compost item that I wanted to go and void. So I'm thinking... Oh... So here's what I'm thinking. We're going to get another charge. Oh, but this is Mom's foot. Ah, uh, okay. So we also have one more room that we haven't cleared. Hopefully that room will complete our void, right? So we'll swing down here. We'll clear out the, the fistulas. They should go down pretty easily. That completely charges this. We then use our void right there to suck up the compost. Then we head back to our shop and buy the battery. Uh, I mean, the battery. There we go. Uh, and you know what? We might as well buy the spirit heart as well, just in case. I want to give us the highest chance we can have. Uh, speaking of which, let's blow the shop guy up as well. So we got a 46% chance of a deal with the devil. As long as we don't take red heart damage against the mom fight. I think there's a good chance of us making that happen. As long as we're relatively careful. Let's get everything all poisoned. Get some of that poison damage going. Oh, that's the foot. Almost dodged directly into the said foot. Get everything all poisoned. So it's taking damage over time. There we go. The finger... Actually, I love the fact that the finger synergizes with uh, Scorpio. That's such a cool synergy. I wonder if it does the same then. Uh, I would assume that it does the same, at least, with other status effect causing items. Charm tears and uh, things along those lines. So I'm I'm actually pretty, pretty cool with this. I think this is kind of a cool synergy. We are a little closer to red heart damage than I would like, though. We've gotten hit a couple times. 
And we definitely want to make sure we don't get hit if we can avoid it, because we need that deal with the devil badly. Uh, our offense is, se uh, is severely lacking from where I would like it to be. And we didn't get a deal with the devil, but we did get Squeezy, which is a tears up. It is also a couple more spirit hearts. So, I mean, it is kind of an offensive upgrade, not necessarily in the way that I was hoping. But at least it's not a terrible item. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now we're in the womb. We got two more floors left, including this one. We're going to focus on taking out these guys first. Because that'll automatically kill the rest of them. There shouldn't be too many more items for us to find other than our boss and uh, devil room items. So I'm thinking at this point, we basically just kind of rush through these floors as quick as we can. We fight Greed, who is not exactly what I had in mind, but hey, whatever. It's a thing. Kill Greed, please, and don't get hit against Greed. That would be very much appreciated. There we go. You're dead. Bunch of coins. I'll take them. And let's head up this way. And we got a couple of these quadruple brimstone dudes who are annoying but manageable. Especially when there's only two of them. They're not too bad. Lots of stuff going on in that room. Lots of kind of bullet heli type things. Uh, Self-sacrifice room. Not really too relevant for us at the moment. Okay, there we go. I managed to clear him out, so now we can just kite the rest of them. We're good. This is going to be a relatively easier room than I thought. You thought I was going to say annoying room. But no. No, that actually went uh, relatively well. And I'm thinking our boss fight has to be over the uh, over this way, because this is a extremely long distance to travel for a dead end. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll take the key. Yeah, there's our boss fight right there. And some rather annoying enemies, which are going to hit me. But hey, what can you do? Hopefully there'll be some... Oh, that one I shouldn't have gotten hit on. Hopefully there'll be something useful in the secret room. Also, the finger, like, very quickly disposes of fires very very quickly uh which means dang it oh well and apparently tnt barrels it destroys them very easily as well let's blow those up we got an eternal heart that we might as well take i mean there's no reason not to um because we will get another eternal heart at the end when I use Void anyway. So uh, let's also blow this guy up, just in case I do take Red Heart damage against the boss. And then I guess we uh, we move on. Mr. Fred, relatively annoying boss. Um, Especially, but we want to kill these little minion guys first. Oh, what did I get hit? What hit me? Creep? That must have been Creep. Dang it. We have basically ruined our deal with the Devil Chance. And, like, I can't hardly hit this guy because he's... His attack is way over this way. Like, he he can only be hit from... I mean, I suppose I could, like, walk some shots into him, right? Like so. Or we could use some, uh... Some sad bombs. That ought to do some damage. Ow! That was bad. But, kind of an annoying boss. Super easy boss if you can fly. If you can fly, this is like the easiest boss in the world. If you can't fly like me right now, much more challenging and annoying. Mostly because of that attack right there. Oh, the creep. I thought I was far enough away where it wasn't going to hit me, but... Yep, get poisoned. Try and walk some shots into him. As best I can, anyway. Can I hit him from, like, right here? Nope. Oh, creep again. Come on. I thought it was fading away and I'd be okay, but... You just need to die. Like, seriously. Um... Void... Gave us a damage up. Okay. 
So, surprisingly, that went relatively well. Gave us an eternal heart as well, so we're going to have a fair amount of HP going into the final floor. We do still have a strength card that we can use against Mom, which will give us a nice damage bonus. I think as long as we can just not hemorrhage tons of HP over the course of this floor, I think we'll be okay. Let's go this way. Try and get rid of these little brain guys first. And that went pretty well. Our shots are a little bit bigger, too, as a result of that, uh, that damage upgrade that Void gave us. Oh, that was bad. Shouldn't have gotten hit there, but too late. Sometimes it happens. There we go. And we have over here a double key room with a key beggar and access to our secret room. I think we play the key beggar, maybe? I mean, this is the last floor, right? Yeah, this is the last floor. So, because we haven't unlocked the later floors yet, anyway, so we might as well spend a couple keys. Let's get down to like, uh, eh, that was really not worth it, but eh, whatever. You're annoying and need to die. There we go. Poison touch. Uh, moderately good item in certain circumstances. There are some really cool synergies. I was doing a run on my other save file, my personal save file, the one that I don't record, and I got uh, Midas Touch, Poison Touch, and Nod Leaf, and it was a ridiculously good synergy. I was able to defeat Hush, uh, Delirium, without breaking a sweat, because every time enemies run into you, there's a small chance that uh, they, when they're poisoned, they drop uh, black hearts. It actually worked out super well, and then Midas Touch dealing insane damage. So it actually worked out super well. But I think here, we're going to void it. And we got three luck and a shot speed up. Okay, it's something. Definitely feels like we're stronger, though. Uh, like, I don't know if it's... I guess it's just that damage up from the last... That was so bad. And I almost did it again right there. That would have been infuriating. <laughs> I would have been so mad at myself. Okay. Yep. Come on. Get dead. You too. Okay, we're good. Um, Just a empty room? A couple of big rooms over there. Probably going to have to go through at least one of them to get to the boss, I presume. Let's try this. Yeah, there's our, there's our mom fight. Uh, this is not where I want to be right now. This is very much not where I want to be right now. Holy cow. Need to give myself a little bit of breathing room. Alright, we made it out in one piece. We got a battery charge. Hmm. I'd like to find that last secret room if we can. And some red hearts would be nice. So, we found our one. I, I, I'm thinking our other secret room probably has to be attached to this. Yep, there we go. And two Mega Maws. Okay. The finger actually will make this a little bit easier because I'm doing essentially piercing damage with the finger. So they're both taking damage right now, even though I'm only actually hitting one of them with my tears. Not a huge amount of damage, but enough. Enough to make at least a little bit of a difference. And once you take out one of them, the other one usually goes down pretty easily. And then we just got to deal with all these little Leaper guys. There we go. Not bad. And here's our second secret room. Ah, that was really not what I was hoping for in that room. Okay. Well, I think at this point... Hmm. I think you use Void. You try and get one more Void charge on the remainder of this floor. So you can get a full eternal heart. Uh, run away. There we go. I was really hoping that golden chest would pay out with something a little bit better, but what can you do? 
Uh, this is going to be a room where we are probably going to take damage, thereby completely negating the whole strategy involving the Eternal Heart and stuff. Pity. Still, though, should probably keep an eye out for... Well, maybe not. Maybe we can still rock our our strategy here. Let's use this. Oh, that's not where I want to stand right now. They're going to blow themselves up, basically. I don't see any tinted rocks on this level either. Unfortunately. There goes that one. But maybe we'll get some sort of a cool bomb item? Mr. Mega would be awesome. Uh, no Mr. Mega. Health up. Sure, why not? I was kind of hoping for like a full health pill, but health up is also acceptable. Hmm, we are in need of some hearts for sure. Can I? Yeah, I can get through there. So we do have a few battery charges lying around. And we might be able to make something work here. The other thing <laughs> is that we should have in whatever room we started... Oh, there's multiples. Okay. Should only be two, though. I've only seen two or two or less on those before. So let's use you. All right. Then we'll swing back down here and grab you and use that. That gives us another heart container. This, I think, was the room we started in. Yeah, definitely was. That's one we can't get to. So we take our battery, and I guess we just head into the mom fight. We pop our strength card immediately. That gets us up to 10 damage, which is a lot better than what we had. We clear out these guys as best we can. And now we just wail on mom with our regular tears. Use some sad bombs as well, maybe? Might as well. No reason not to. Oh, let's not stand there, though. There we go. That ought to do it. And there is our mom kill with Apollyon. So we pulled out a victory and unlocked the trinket smelter and experimental treatment. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description down below, so check those out too. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.